Expedite, the pre-workout is designed to really help you get through those moments where you feel a little fatigued. Sometimes your body does get a little tired, you know, it gets a little sore. But this kind of stuff picks you right back up. You believe it was it was a good stoppage? You know, Billy Joe Saunders uh, getting, didn't come uh, out the corner, was it? I don't really, I don't really yeah, go for, go I don't really go for, go um, for, for, um, stop just too well, you know, I, I'm never the guy that want to say somebody should or shouldn't get stopped because as far as I go, I ain't stopping, you got to stop me, so it's just, but everybody's different, so I don't know, it could, if his eye is broken, it's definitely a good stop. You don't want to see him do added damage to his eye, but if his eye is not broken, then no, it's not a good stop. It was wise, I mean, Canelo was just going to, you know, break his face even more, damage that eye even more, he could have gone blind because Canelo wasn't going to stop, especially for the stuff that Billy Joe Saunders was talking, disrespecting the Mexican reporter. I mean, it was just gonna be, uh, uh, it was gonna fire Canelo more and to go out there and just finish him. So mm -hmm. I felt like it was a wise move for him to just quit. Should he get the the heat that he's getting? Because people are like, nah, this fool's a quitter. Like, look at what he said with Daniel Dubois, you know, da 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 da. He should have went out on his shield. Should have be or the point that you're bringing up too, you know, him going blind in an eye, is it worth it in a fight? I mean, exactly. I mean, only he knows. I mean, he knew he was against a real fighter like Canelo and he wasn't really doing much. He wasn't hurting Canelo. I mean, I would understand if he was the one like hurting Canelo and dropping him or something, then he would have had a, ch a fighting chance to win. But I don't think, after, especially after that, I don't think he had no chance. And he was just going to keep getting more hurt just to prove what and maybe lose his, lose his eye. I can't speak for, I can't speak. I can only speak for myself. I've never been in that situation. But you know, at the end of the day, if he can't do it, he can't do it. That's just the dog in him. If he says yes or us, no, you coming out, that's just on him, you know? But at the end of the day, too, you got his corner that I look at the, his safety at the end of the day. You know, his, he might have wanted done it, but his corner saying no, then his corner saying no. His, his safety is more important and then trying to go out and on a share where you can't see one eye and Canelo's too fresh. So it's like, it's a, it's a dangerous move to make when you're in there with somebody at that level. Well, I think it was right for him to stop because he, he was pretty bad hurt. You seen the, you seen the uh, x-rays and everything where they broke his face, his eye. And that's very painful. You know what I mean? People don't know because when you're in boxing and then Canelo hits hard, he hurt him big time. So how could he go in there with one night blind and hurt him big time? He could have got hurt worse. Mm -hmm. So they did the right thing by stopping that fight. Mm -hmm. Overall, you know, is there anyone who beats Canelo in your opinion? Right now, no way. He's looking good. He's, 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 doing, a, he's doing a great career for himself. He's a big superstar. And he's got everything going for him, man. And I'm proud of him, you know. And, you know, I give him a lot of props, man. Canelo's the man right now. Yeah. He's the superstar right now in boxing. I was um, a little disappointed at first until I realized, until I heard the news that he, he got, it was broken. You know, at the end of the day, everybody wants to go back to their families healthy. And, you know, but the fans wanted to see a great fight. And Billy Joe Sanders didn't, didn't, didn't come out. I wish nothing but the best Sanders, you know. It's, uh, we all know this is a sport. And... You might get heated in the moment, you know, and um, us as fans, we might get heated as well. But at the end of the day, we we, we wish no, nothing bad to any of our opponents. I wish that either once you step in the ring, you guys battle it out, but let's both go back home to our families. My take on it, I have to say this first, my take on it is never speak on a, someone's situation until you've been through it. And I say that because he did give a lot of backlash to uh, Daniel Dubois. Dubois, or yeah. whatever, what's his, how you pronounce it, Dubois? Yeah. He gave a lot of backlash to him. And then now he's put in the same situation and did the same thing. So never just judge a book by his cover or until you've been through it. That's number one. Number two, I can say he quit, but I say he quit without quitting. His trainer made a decision, but he didn't stop him. Mm -hmm. His trainer did, what, did his, his job the right way that any trainer should have did. Like, I wouldn't, I, I don't know if I would feel bad at my trainer if that, if that happened to me. Because at the end of the day, you're still fighting Canelo. There's still more rounds to go, and that is already broken. And you didn't let your hands go that round that it happened. So the, the next, now from these this round on out, is just survival mode. So the trainer did his damn job. I, I applaud him for that. The fighter, I feel like, ah, it was a quit, but it was like a, it, it, that's, that's, that's like a, it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth. I can't really call it a quit, but it is a quit. But it's like, my shit was never broke <laughs> to, <laughs> to ever, to, so, to be like, yo, he quit. Because 
who's to say any other fighter like a lot and a lot of people was posting other fighters that had their eyes like that but, but they weren't broken it wasn't though. broken it's swollen but it not was swollen I'm, I'm gonna fight with a swollen eye yeah i'm gonna do everything i can but who's to say i'm like i will fight through the pain of a broken or or how you orbital, orbital yeah orbital know, bone. Hard to say. Yeah, yeah like who's to say but so i gotta say i don't technically call it a quit but uh i just left a little bad taste and the second the third thing i want to say is you never know until it happened to you how that shit feels so <laughs> don't just be so quick to speak on somebody's situation I mean, I feel like people don't really know what goes on inside the ring. Um, only the fighters know and their teams know really what's going on. So I don't judge him for quitting. I think maybe it would have been the right move because now that they're saying that he broke his bone and that it could have been severe, he could have lost his eyesight. I feel like that would that was the right move to make. So I don't judge him. I think he did the right thing because then it could have been way worse. And I think Canelo was like ready to finish him anyways. So I think it was a smart move, in my opinion. You know, just Man, a few minutes ago. Billy Joe Saunders is pussy. He is pussy. You don't go out like that. Eight rounds in front of 73,000 people. You're supposed to get knocked out. You're supposed to die. You're supposed to die because that's what we in there. We gladiators, man. You're not supposed to go in there and quit, man. You know, and uh, he quit tonight. And shout out to Canelo Alvarez. You know, he's a great champion. You know, he's pound for pound king, man. Shout out to him. He did it. You know, 73,000 people. He broke the record in the U.S. Me as a fighter, you know, you're trying to give it all in the ring, you know. Even if your mentality is, you know what, I'm going to die in the ring. That That's how positive you are of winning. Yeah, but like, you know, it's corner, I mean, it's corner and self see a different fight, you know. And we we can't judge him because the only one that knows how he feels is the fighter. Maybe, maybe he was being honest, he couldn't see from the eye or he really was bugging him. So his corner saw that and, you know, called it off. Uh, at a at the at the time of the fight, it might seem like he quit, but you know, like after all the results came in, they had a broken orbital bone. It's serious, you know, because uh, they might be even his end of, end of his career, if you can say it. But like, hope, hope he does a fast recovery. Uh, we, we don't wish that on, on none of the fighters, you know. But you're fighting, you get hit, you're in the heat of the moment, and stuff like that happens. But like. We do it to entertain the people, you know, have fun and for legacy as well. But like uh, stuff like that, we don't we don't like seeing it, but it happens, you know. And but like the only one that knows how he felt um, is is the fighter, Sanders, you know. But like I, for me, I think his corner did the right move, you know, because you can end up losing nine. It's not worth it. No, it's not. not worth it. you know, <laughs> health, like I, I've been trying is... to tell fans that, like, it's not like. Yeah. I understand, like, all the shit talking that he did with other fighters that yeah. that happened to, and, like, I understand that, but, like, at the end of the day, it's not worth losing an eye over. And they contend, like, nah, like, these guys are warriors, they're boxers, you know, they die, but, live by the sword, die by the sword. Yeah. yeah, but, like, I mean, life still goes on, you know? <laughs> boxing might be over, but you still got a life outside of boxing. Oh, Saunders got a lot of flack by the way the fight was stopped because of the comments that he uh, said about Daniel Dubois, about uh, the orbital bone. Just give me your your insight as a fighter or someone who does take punches for a living uh, about what the fans are, are saying about that. You know, I don't that? know about taking, I don't know about taking punches like well, that. You, I don't take you don't yeah. You don't take a lot of punches like that, but you do take punches for a living. You're, you're a professional boxer though. Not a lot of people are able to hit you clean. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I've, I never had my orbital bone broke. So, you know, it'd be, uh, that's something me personally, you know, I'm not going to speak on that too much because I haven't had it broke. I don't know what it's like to be in that position. So, um, I don't know. So do you think the heat that he's getting is fair given the comments or do you think people need to chill with that? Because at the end of the day, like to me personally, I don't think a fight is worth someone losing their eye over. I mean, it, it'd be more, acceptable for you to say that and for you to feel that way though you know what i'm saying because no knock against you because you do the sport a lot of good but because you don't fight you know your mentality is going to be slightly different and even a lot of a lot of other fighters would feel like you and think like you but there are a select few who may disagree with that and feel like that it's not worth it and i feel like that i'm one of those guys and one of those mm -hmm. select few. and so um you know as far as him catching flack or being called a quitter for, from other people who don't know what it's like to feed their families with their hands. 
that's too much. You can't you can't say that because you don't know what it's like to step between those ropes. Now, if he's catching flack because he gave Daniel what's his name shit, and then it turned around and happened to him, and now he's like, you know what I'm saying? That makes a little more sense. It's like, hey, you was giving this guy shit, but you look, you did the same thing. So don't don't speak on something if you're not willing to. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's really all. You know, that's as much as I can speak on that because. You know, I've never had that happen to me. Uh, we're no one to say. Uh, when that is happening, certain fighters, they they take adversity in very different ways. We've seen fighters that they, they fight with broken hands and stuff like that. But we really cannot judge because at the end of the day, if something really bad really happens, who are we to, to, to really criticize them and, and say what goes or what doesn't, you know? Um, we see many cases where fighters, they get really hurt and they die. Uh, who knows if he failed that, you know? Every fighter, it's, it's the owner of his own, of his own uh, decision. And he's got to live with that, so but it's up to him. Uh, I don't know if I, if I was fighting, if I would get hurt, I, if I would stop the fight, I wouldn't know. Or, but honestly, we're nobody to say what what goes through his through his mind. All we gotta do is respect it. You know, if it's true that he broke it in three places and things like that, then Canelo hits really hard. Imagine another shot like that; it could have killed him. You know, uh, just give Canelo his his props. He hits very hard, obviously, and another shot like that would have given more damage. I mean, after that, after that. It's, it was going to be only more damage to, to Billy. So what is the point of receiving more damage when he can end his career, if not his health? I don't think he quit because uh, his bone was broken. So uh, he did the right move. You know, it could have been worse. He uh, Canelo could have broke his whole face. You know what I mean? So uh, boxing is a dangerous sport. There's nothing to play with. So uh, it, was, it was right for his future if he wanted to go longer in, in boxing. Yeah, it's, it's not, is, is it worth losing an eye over? Like, because I know a lot of fighters be like, carry, carry me out on a shield, you know? But yeah, some boxers do, like like me, that's how I feel. Like, I'll die in the ring, but at the same time, it's up to the corner. That's why we have good corner men and good coaches to call it off. Mm -mm. Do you think the heat that he's getting, is it warranted? Well, it's, it's uh, the heat he's getting from like regular people. The boxers who, who've been in the ring, they know how it is. So uh, he ain't getting too much heat from boxers so that's the main thing I actually thought he quit I, 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 I really thought he quit and uh, that does mo most of those guys that talk a lot that's normally what happens you know what I mean until it happens to them and in this case it did happen and he, to me he quit as far as I'm concerned he quit so he, you don't think he gets a pass because it's broken like oh no 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 dude I seen guys with worse believe me I seen guys with worse cases uh -huh. and that one right there Nah, nah, I, I, I just, I, I, the guy didn't have it anyways. It, it was, you know, let's just say Canelo probably carried him around a couple of rounds. Mm -hmm. But uh, it being, a, being a lefty as well, it, it made it a little complicated. But, but it's, it's still no excuse. I think um, he could, he, and no, um, he, he didn't have the heart, man. Mm -hmm. You know, once he tested Canelo's power, um, uh, I, I, I knew it wasn't going to happen. And, and then again, it was a Canelo fight too. You know, I said two fights ago, I was not interested at all to see those fights. This one, was somehow, yeah, a little bit, but not 100%. Now, if you ask me, will you see when he faces Benavides, that's a fight that I will never miss. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And even if he faces, um, what's his name, Plant, mm -hmm. that's a fight that I can't miss either. Because Plant has a cool little style, you know what I mean? He, he's going to be a little more complicated. You know, um, I don't know who will win that one, but people, yeah. People say that Saunders and Plant can't do better than what Saunders did. Nah, but, but nah. Canelo finishes off. Plant no, San, no, I, I don't see, I, I don't see that, that comparison right there at all. No, I think as far as I'm concerned, uh, Plant can can box. Plant, Plant, Plant can box. He can. Move. I seen that guy since day one, and uh, when I when I seen, I, I remember telling him when I know one when I see one, because man, that guy can move. He's very slick. He's, he he surprises you with shots that you don't see him coming. Sanders didn't surprise anybody with nothing. 
That's that's what I see. You know what I mean? That's that's my opinion. I would need to see the the X-rays. You know, I don't know if it was broken or not, but if it was, it was a good idea to stop the fight. But if he wasn't and he just quit because he couldn't be, he didn't want to be knocked out. I mean, that's a shame on him. You know, I don't. We don't know. I mean, that's what he's saying right now. Uh, but you know, boxing is a tough sport. And only the guys that are up there, you know, they know how it feels when you get hit or you get a broken nose or, or, or a broken eye socket. I mean, but I don't know if it's true. If he, if he did, I mean, that was a good move. If he didn't, he didn't want to be knocked out by Canelo. That's my opinion. Yeah. Well, in my opinion, I think, uh, you know, he was, uh, like I said, he was moving around. Um, everybody that fights Canelo, they're, they're already fighting scare, man. You know, and especially if they're moving around and they get caught with a little body shot or the arm or whatever, they feel that power. So they don't really know how much power he has until they're inside. So I believe that he did feel that power and he got hit with that big punch. And, and honestly, he didn't stop for a reason when he was boxing him. He stopped because he felt those punches and I think uh, uh, he just wanted to get a way out too, you know, so. Uh, but in my opinion, he did good. He boxed him until he got tired and got hit with that punch. And I, I, I think if he would have come out, man, it would have been really bad. It would have been really bad. So uh, good thing they stopped it. And, and, and plus, he could, imagine if you have your face broken, your socket broken, and and and, and you already you can't even see. And he wasn't even defending himself anymore. So how much wor worse could it got? You know, fighting Canelo with one eye. With one eye. Punching imagine you there when he had, when he had two eyes, he, he, he had a lot of problems. <laughs> you know, imagine, <laughs> imagine now that. So I think it was a great stop, man. It was a good fight, entertaining fight. I had a lot of fun with it. It was great. It, it was very exciting for me, and and we got to see Canelo get hit a little bit, and 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 throwing those big punches. Sanders would go under and grab. Sanders did a lot of good things in there. For me, I, I study all that to see hopefully one day David Benavides can fight Canelo. And uh, it, it's just, he's a very dangerous fighter and we gotta do our homework and, and do the best that we can to study and see what, what, what things he does wrong or, or what things don't work for him. It was a really good performance by both fighters, not just Canelo. I felt like, you know, Billy Joe Sanders, he was doing really good until he got caught with that shot. I think what really messed him up is just having his hands so low like that. I felt like if he would have, you know, kind of has had his hands a little bit up, you know, he wouldn't have got caught with the shot like that. But you know what I'm saying? Any, this is boxing. Anything could happen. But, you know, I felt like his, his lateral movement was really good. He had a good jab. It's just that he got caught with that shot, man. And Canelo, you know, I like Canelo's fighting style too, man. He has some great body shots and... You know, just just him cutting the ring and trying to get to Billy Joe Sanders, man. You, you could just tell his his ring IQ. He he does so much stuff. You know, Canelo. So you know, I'm I've always I'm always gonna be a fan of boxing. You know, I like Canelo. I like you know, even though we might fight in the future. You know, I have nothing against that guy. You know, at the end of the day, I'm a fan of boxing, and it was a great fight, man. How the fight ended? Um, you know, this is a big topic. A lot of people feel that Saunders quit in, in the fight because of what happened. Um, a lot of people have been going back and forth. A, a lot of fighters have been going in on, going in on, on Saunders but, uh, with the way the fight ended because of his uh, prior comments uh, towards other fighters uh, that uh, have had that same type of injury. What do you make of, of how the way the, the fight ended, and, and do you think it's right of fans to say that he quit? I mean, uh, at the end of the day, you know, the only person who knows how he felt was him. You know, what if you couldn't see? I mean, a, a lot of people want to talk shit. They're going to say whatever they want to say. But what if you would have kept going in the fight and had not have quit and, you know, his eye would have been permanently damaged? You know what I mean? Some say he would have kept receiving shots and we would have kept fighting. So imagine you go in a fight, you come into a fight, and then you you come out without an eye or you can't even see. He's partially blind from that eye. You know what I mean? So I don't know. A lot of people can say whatever they want to say, but at the end of the day, nobody knew knows how Billy Joe Sanders felt, you know? So, I mean, if he wanted to quit, you know what I mean? It's, it's up to him, man. Um, I felt like, you know, sir, there was, there would have been some other people that would have kept going, man, but you don't want to just get permanently damaged. And especially with the eye, man, you know, maybe he'll live, he'll live to box another day. If he would have kept going, maybe he wouldn't have had an eye or something, man. So I don't know. It's honestly it's just people saying, talking, you know, just keep talking. You know, I, I totally agree with you, you know, and, and I put something out, you know, saying that, you know, it's not like it was uh, like a, a swollen eye or a shut eye. Like he, he broke his, his face and, and like one more punch, like he, he could go permanently blind. And like, I, I just don't get it. I don't I don't think any fight 
uh, for, for you guys is worth, you know, losing an eye over, losing vision for your whole entire life. And, and you guys have to deal with it while people are just like, oh, well, you should have continued. I'm like, nah, man, like, yeah, that, that's a legit injury in a fight to say, you know what? Nah, I'm good. Like, I, I don't want to be blind. And it's OK for someone to be like, you know what? Uh, you know, I'm I'm choosing not to continue anymore because at the end of the day, you can't replace freaking eye. Like exactly, yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> but I think the only thing, guys, that um is is the difference with Billy Joe Saunders is that Billy Joe Saunders watch other fighters who put their lives on the line, uh, receive beatings, fight longer than he did with the same type of injury, um, and he ridiculed them, even saying basically that he he'd leave the ring in the bag before. Uh, before he quit. And, you know, it's just, I think that that is what the population, you know, you're a victim of the things that you say. I mean, I think that that's what Billy Joe Saunders is falling on his own sword. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I, yeah. That's understandable too. I mean, if he went out there and say that he would never quit like that and then he ends up quitting now, I know why people are talking shit. I didn't know that he would, he ridiculed other fighters that had the same. Then you do was is what he ridiculed. And that, then that's understandable. But, you know, at the end of the day, he, it's his decision, you know, he has to live with it, you know, so, I mean, I didn't think he was going to win anyways, but, you know, it was a good fight. I mean, now he could he could live to box another day or he could see out of his eyes. So, I mean, no doubt, no doubt. you know, he had to do what was best for his health. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.